Many people see karaoke as a form of entertainment, but others see it as a way to release stress. People who visit Dimple's Karaoke Restaurant describe why they feel a passion for karaoke. Earlier, I think that you know it's you have an excuse uh, to act you know the way you want to and kind of live out um, maybe a character or a persona that maybe you can't in the normal world. So I think it's definitely a release for a lot of people just to to let loose and just have a good time. Karaoke is a uh, it's, it's a form of us. Uh, a self-expression. It's also it engages people to uh, get up and you know show a side of them that they probably don't show too often. With Americans working longer hours, 35% say it's harming their physical and emotional health, which is leading them to finding more fun activities. I'm not a medical doctor, but it's a, it's a release. That's all, and it's an ego trip. California State University Northridge music graduate Gabriel Botsworth says karaoke could be very therapeutic. It requires you filling up your lungs and breathing deeply and using you know, your core muscles. It's, it's a social activity, it's a physical activity, it's an emotional activity, and it's an intellectual activity all at the same time. Not just average working Americans have turned to karaoke. Celebrities such as Britney Spears, Robert Pattinson, Katy Perry, and many others have also turned to sing their favorite songs. So participating in music and singing um, can, can touch you know, emotions that we don't necessarily uh, think about day to day. In Burbank, Luisa Fabiola Gonzalez, Valley B News.